week I've been thinking about what three words describe my style and I have settled on oversized, sleek and glam. Obviously not including the fact I like neutrals and sort of 90s minimalism. I'm going to show you five outfits that I've been wearing recently, sort of casual day-to-day -day outfits that are oversized, sleek and glam. Outfit number one is a black, brown and grey outfit including these loafers from Zara. They're the brown loafers, they're sort of YSL inspired, they're just like the YSL ones and I have not really worn loafers much before. I feel like they're quite hard to style, I want to get into it. It really depends on the length of your jeans and that is so annoying having to have so many different lengths of jeans to go with different shoes. But anyway, so I've styled them with these, this pair from Weekday. They're the row jeans. They're super high waisted and I'm wearing a length 30. This jumper is from Unico. It's a gray high neck. It's called the souffle jumper, nice and cozy. Oversized jacket from Source Unknown. H&M bag that's a bit of a Gucci dupe and then my chunky earrings and rings. I feel like the earrings, rings and gold detail on the bag bring in the glam element. The jacket is definitely oversized and the sleek is probably like the way I wear my hair and sort of which like isn't always sleek but when I pull it back I feel like that's very sleek and maybe the jacket is bringing in the sleek element too maybe the lines of it the texture of it but overall I think it's quite a sort of 90s minimalism inspired outfit but this is like a good one for day-to-day -day, casual but still kind of glam sunglasses are the Otis from Anine Bing and are just my favorite sunglasses at the moment. I love them. Okay, outfit number two. I first just wanted to mention this Zara t-shirt that I bought. It is the perfect brown and I just think it's such a great basic. I kind of wish it wasn't cropped, but I just love the color and think it's such a good little t-shirt. However, it's way too cold to be wearing just a t-shirt and a jacket at the moment. So I have been wearing this outfit with my Nina Bing cashmere cream jumper. This jumper is divine. It is so soft and cozy and warm. It is at a high price point though and I have seen H&M do some great sort of wool or cashmere jumpers at a really great price point in the same sort of colour but cashmere is such a wonderful investment because it's just so warm. I wear it every, pretty much every day because it's just cozy. I'm also styling this Pauline bag. This is the Syme, C-Y-M-E, tote bag. It is just gorgeous. The most amazing like craftsmanship in a bag. I love the detail of the top stitching throughout it. I love this color and I love styling black and brown together. This trench is just from Zara. I've got a lot of wear out of this trench. It's a really good staple and basic. Again, the jeans are from Zara and my Adidas Sambas. I feel like the jumper and the jeans add in the oversized element. The sleek is probably the trench. I feel like a trench is quite a sleek item. And um, the glam again with the sort of the bag, the accessories, the hair, the jewelry. That's where the glam comes in. A very simple outfit but I just love it I love all the pieces in it if you like me are very bored of styling jeans or trousers this winter get your satin skirt back out from last summer I've been wearing mine with tights underneath and then socks and with an oversized jumper I just love the silhouette it's something a little bit different it is very oversized but I do think the oversized jumper 
is my oversized element the skirt is my sort of sleek element and then glam with the handbag i'm wearing my new balance 574s these are ancient i must have got these in like 2016 or something and i don't know why but they've held the test of time and i feel like they are just a classic new balance trainer they're not as trendy as the sambas which is a good thing as they won't fall off a cliff so quickly um they're just sort of like i don't feel like they've ever been really really trendy and really not trendy just a classic trainer and i love the gray color it goes well with this bag this is new from parisa parisa wang was kindly gifted to me what a beautiful bag is definitely giving sort of box bag hermes vibes um kelly inspiration going on there but it is a beautifully crafted bag and it feels really really luxurious perfect size for all your bits comes with a long strap as well and i love having a gray bag obviously with the gold hardware i love the glam element of the gold hardware wearing my wearing my cashmere and then being a jumper again but underneath this is a crucial element i'm wearing this long sleeve top from Zara. I love how you can just see it sort of poking out from around the top. Just adds an extra layer sort of styling element, big, which is a great styling tip to add like a high neck t-shirt underneath your jumper. It also comes out of the sleeves because it's got sort of thumb holes. Just a nice basic base layer. And when it comes to another styling tip, I would say I've been wearing these gray socks with every single one of these outfits I've styled so far. And they're just from Zara too, but they're ribbed. They're a lovely gray color. And I feel like when you're wearing outfits like these where you can see your socks, such a nice extra element to have like a, a nice sock as part of the styling element. I've seen people also wear like dark burgundy or like dark brown socks. That's what I need a dark brown pair and a burgundy pair because that just brings it all together and makes it look really beautifully styled. This Zara bomber jacket, which is old. However, there are some dupes on the market. Dupes of Zara, does that work? But Marks and Spencer's have got a gorgeous one. And do you know what? The quality is probably better. You know, I'm just in a blazer mood today. So we're styling this outfit outfit number four this oversized blazer brown arquette trousers that long sleeve white top from zara and the prisa wang bag this blazer is just from a charity shop let me see if it has a label in which it does it is called taylor and wright so it's a men's oversized blazer. I know it's huge and I can already hear people commenting on Instagram that it's too big for me, which I know, but I love the sort of oversized style. It's very sort of source unknown, that kind of thing. And I wore this um, blazer a lot last summer, Taylor and Wright. So maybe look that up on Vinted, see if they have one similar. I have no idea what kind of brand that is. Could be like men's, peacocks from the 90s don't know but i like this sort of tonal dressing this gray this this jacket almost is like a gray brown color so the gray bag really goes with it i feel like the sharp lines of the bla of the blazer on my sleek and obviously it's oversized and as always the sort of accessories and maybe the type top are my glam I quite fancy styling a belt with it but decided to go against it because I quite like the detail of the fastening there instead. I just saw this shirt and trench sitting next to each other and thought I have to style those together. I really like the shirt collar going outside the trench. I've seen that on a few different stylings like over blazers and things like that. Feel like it's kind of cool this trench is from weekday it is super oversized probably too oversized i did buy it at the peak of my oversizedness however it's a lovely color and a lovely length the shirt is just from zara top from zara these are my future short trousers 
if you don't know Fuchsia Short is my brand I'm on hiatus sort of from my brand at the moment it's not actually currently open however I'm working on things things are coming and including these trousers maybe back but better than ever I've been really like thinking about how much I love quality and I've been working on that sampling behind the scenes basically these New Balance 54 574s again and my Loewe tote could not come out not not come out for a video one of my favorite bags ever these earrings are actually from Pauline and I feel like they are my sleek element they're just so like tight and crisp the way they sit around the ear really beautiful little earrings obviously the blazer is my oversized and I feel like the handbag is usually my glam but do you see what I mean do you think that those three words encapsulate my style or do you think you could think of better words I don't know I just love the idea of having a personal style with like a sort of formula is this number five or six what the brand cardigan stripey gray and black my future short trousers loewe belt loewe bag 574s again and this is just a long sleeve basic top from weekday what i like about this outfit is the trousers are our oversized element i think the slick hair is the sleek and then the glam again in the bag and the jewelry and also the cardigan i feel like that's a little bit ladylike so a little bit a little bit glam adjacent anyway I really love these sort of button down high neck cardigans great styling piece really on trend for 2024 what the brand do some nice sort of pieces like that almost an all black outfit but the grey from the cardigan and the new balance just breaks it up a little bit and I love that you've got the sort of gold glinting throughout that's definitely a glam aspect for me with the buttons the loewe belt and the gold hardware on the bag and of course these pauline earrings again i also think these sunglasses kind of fall into that sleek category as well they're kind of androgynous they've got really sharp lines to them and they are just something that i, I love very very me and i feel like i will wear these with every outfit they're the kind of thing that I'm like I hate my outfit and then I put, I put these sunglasses on and I'm like never mind I like it <laughs> that's it that's my six outfit ideas following my sleek oversized glam style that I think describes my style anyway very sort of like casual outfits that you can wear day to day with trainers but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what pieces you like, what you didn't like. Maybe if you disagree with me on my styling, let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.